All right, welcome to the channel, guys. Today is the day. We're going to pick up the 2022 WRX. We still got the BRZ here. It is sold. The owner hasn't picked it up yet. This thing does have a built IAG motor, 30R turbo kit from JDL. It's got all the goods on it. It's fully built. She's ready to rip for the new owner, but that's what we're here to talk about today. We are here to look at the new 2022 WRX. All right, we're pulling in right now. Driving the wife's vehicle, we got a Compass Trailhawk here. Pulling in, I don't see it, I don't know where it's at. It was over here yesterday. We're driving to where we think it is. All right, well it's not back there, so they definitely moved it. All right, well, I don't think they allowed recording inside, so we'll get back to you guys in, uh, in a few minutes. Yeah, they got the car right in front. We're gonna be driving right out of these doors. Guys, we're in the car now. Life's recording. Uh, we're just cruising along, trying to get some braking miles on it. We're at 32 miles. We're just trying to feel her out. So, peak boost so far is 11 and a half pounds. We got on her just a little bit. Didn't really, didn't go over 4,000 RPMs, maybe like 4,100, but we're trying to keep it relatively tame until we get the some braking miles on her. Once we get that 1,000 miles, we're gonna do an oil change, but. Yeah, I mean, it's dri first driving impressions are like, wow, like it is much smoother than the BRZ, of course, uh, but it's just a very smooth ride. Transmission feels good. The shifting, the shift's a little long, but I mean, the BRZ does have a short shifter, but overall impressions are, I'm very happy with, uh, with this vehicle and I'm really excited for the future of this platform. The FA24 has a lot of potential. I know everyone's been watching online of what Prime Motoring is doing. Um, they already got a turbo back on E30 blend. They're already over 300 horsepower with no tuning. So we know potential is there, and that's only at 12 pounds. They still, like, I mean, there's no tuning, so they can't raise boost pressure or can't adjust timing or anything yet. So the potential is there. I'm excited for this platform, but let's get back to driving. All right, guys, we're back in the garage. We got her home. Got a little bit over 50 total miles on her. First time I popped the hood, didn't even pop it at the dealership. I mean, there's really nothing to look at. Bunch of plastic. But we got the air box here. Charge pipe is kind of cool. It has this, like, foam insulator around it. And it actually goes and connects underneath. So that's cool. Then it comes straight down. Completely different than obviously the FA20 WRX where the whole intercooler was completely different. But I mean, yeah, this is it. Looks pretty sweet. We're going to start getting some parts on her soon once some parts start coming out. So we'll see what goes on. But well, there we go. Before we end this one out, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more 2022 WRX content. Let's get it. 